My name is Cynthia Levinson. Priscilla, you've mentioned a couple of times links within electronic books, such as to music that would be relevant to what you're reading. What happens to copyright? Uh, uh, at the moment, that's a very good question. All, th there is, uh, w th there are two things I've been talking about. What I talked about specifically in terms of making the book interactive is uh, essentially allowing people to read a book together all across the world, comment on it, and essentially follow, you know, discuss characters, m uh, argue with the data. Um, that, that, that I don't think poses a serious copyright issue. But um, uh, an agreement is, has been worked out uh, and, and is still in its infancy and I think will take many more shape uh, before it's over between writers um, and uh, uh, essentially Google that tries to sort of uh, help writers uh, be able to take advantage of the long tail so that no book will ever go out of print. Um, but at the same time, protect uh, you know, the basic copyright rules. I think, I mean, I'm going to go to Josh here. I think copyright law is something that we all need to discover across a whole series of businesses and rethink. And yeah, I mean, look, the bane of my existence is Ariana Huffington. Um, <laughs> yeah. Mostly because. And, and explain why for people who aren't well, in the business. Well, personally yes. speaking, no. It's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I kid. I kid. Um, because the Huffington Post basically, you know, if you have a scoop, what they will do um, is take yeah. a 20-word introduction, yeah. excerpt 400 words of your scoop, put a 20-word outro, and then a link. And this, they argue, is fair use under copyright. And the fact is that all fair use, all copyright needs revisiting. It's, you know, we, we spawned a great century of an economy around, around fair use and copyright. We now need to revisit it for the way we use information. Yeah, Not even though I'm a writer. Google. Yeah. yeah. Right. Well, I mean, yes. Google's uh, the same thing. Yeah. I mean, uh, absolutely. It is. Right. And exactly. This is the internet. Yeah. Right. Welcome aboard. We're going to link to it. And right. this is your actual field of expertise, isn't well, it? Copyright I mean, law. I, you know, we, we think. I don't know. We think about copyright a lot, and copyright is very important. Uh, you know, one of the things I would say is it's a question that's on the mind of a lot of people, um, because people say that copyright is really important for protecting creativity. And that's true, but that's really a shorthand. What copyright protects is the commercialization of creativity. Right. It protects business models. And so what I would suggest is that while copyright is very, and this is the lawyer speaking, right? So while copyright is very important and we enforce our, you know, our, um, you know any legal rights that we have, um, it is once you realize that it's protecting the commercialization of creativity, I mean, by, by just acknowledging that, then you open the door and you say, what are, the, what are the other ways that we can protect that commercial business model, as it were? Yes. So, you know, from our perspective, on the one hand, we have to worry about copyright, but I say as a general counsel, it is in a lot of ways a short-term solution. We should advocate for it and we should do whatever. But on the other hand, if technology is coming from some other direction that people embrace and that they love, then you're going to have to react to that from a technology standpoint. So again, looking at Napster, right, there was certainly a battle won when um, they and other you know, um, music sites were shut down. But in the long term, right, they didn't win the war. On the other hand, when you come forward with a business model that includes both how do you get the content plus how do you protect it from a technology standpoint, it really works. You know, I could go through the whole collection of our businesses, or I could point to the Apple iPod, right? So iTunes. that's iTunes right, because they figured out, they figured out yeah. that you've got to have the rights to the content in addition to the technology. So while the copyright is very important for us, it's just part of the solution to what's really going to protect our assets. And that includes right. multimedia content, not just text, that's right. not, not just what writers right. do, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 